Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thank you very much for clicking! As the title suggests down below, today I am showing you guys what I've got my boyfriend for Christmas. Two little uh, disclaimers actually. Ignore this dry patch of skin, I don't know what happened to it, it's just really dry and horrible. Secondly, this is not a boasting video and I really don't want people to think that I'm boasting or I'm trying to show off. I'm literally just showing you guys what I got my boyfriend for Christmas because I am so excited. And if you're looking for Christmas presents for men, then maybe you've come to the right video. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. I'll show you exactly what I got. First up is stocking, obviously. He's not used to getting stocked. Uh, and, uh, what am I like? He's not used to getting the stockings, so I bought him a mini stocking, it's nothing extravagant, it's not special, but this is what I put in it. So, first up, Fauntons Biscuits. <laughs> um, nothing too shabby to say about those, they're just Fauntons Biscuits. Next up, got some Costa Caramel Lattes to go in his uh, Tassimo machine. Um, he really likes these, so... Again, as in my uh, stocking filler guides for her, I've put in a air freshener. Apparently it smells sport fresh, so that will that will smell good in his Ibiza group bar. <laughs> and then onto some boring things. I've got a load of tissues. Y you always need tissues, don't you? Again, boring things. Baby wipes, because you always need baby wipes. And then last up for the boring things, I got him a Vaseline lip therapy. He normally uses the blue ones, but can't be colorist in this day and age. It's 2019. Again, on the stocking side of things, I've got him a Hurricane protein shaker. So this is actually an electric protein shaker and it was 7 dollars from B&M and it's part of the Mo Health range, which is the Mo Farah range. Um, and it's got a button on it, so you pop your water in there, you pop your um, protein in there, you push the button, it swirls it around, so hopefully that works. Next up, these are more me, okay? Okay, Fred, these are more me. But I do think that you deserve some too, so I got him some really fluffy teddy bear um, PJs, so look like that. They are so soft and cosy, so yeah, I can't wait for him to wear them. If he does, you never know, he might not. <laughs> Freddie's vocabulary is very colourful. So I got him a very colourful vocabulary jar. Vocabulary? Vocabulary. So I got him a vocabulary jar um, for his naughty word. So every time he says a naughty word, it will go in the jar and he will be fined. But lastly, in Fred's stocking me gift sort of thing, I've got him this red parker pen i didn't get him a fountain one i got him a ballpoint tip because he really does want he wanted this he wanted this in a fountain pen but i know for a fact he will not use it he will not use a fountain pen so he can have ballpoint that way he'll use it and these i think this was 15 pounds uh, from wh smith so if you want yourself a good fountain pen head on over to smithland hey I forgot to say. Freddie, if you're watching this, get the hell off my video. Do not ruin this for me. Do not ruin this for you. These are some good gifts. We're onto the bag of goodies that I can't wait to give him. Honestly, I really, I'm so excited. So, also, this dry skin is just doing my brain and no matter where I look, it's there. First up, I got him the Turtle Beach headset adapter for his Xbox One. So he has a pair of Turtle Beach headphones and apparently this adapter goes into the controller, then the headphones go into the adapter and then you can sort of, you can tamper with the settings better. Um, he mentioned it very, very briefly. So I decided that I was going to use my little uh, cognitive skills and purchase him some. Next up, really, really exciting. I've got him this Casio watch. I'll show you inside. He mentioned this about a year ago and I thought I was going to get it for him last Christmas, but I didn't. So this Christmas, I decided to purchase. It is bright yellow. How awesome is that? And yeah, so I love it. Freddie will love it. I know that he'll use it because he's already mentioned about it. Next up. So Fred's got a Samsung S9 or an S10. 
it's one or the other I don't remember um, but I got him the new Samsung faster charge technology wireless charging pad um, that was a bloody mouthful wasn't it it's like a wish advert so yeah I picked him up one of these um, he didn't want a third party brand one about a year ago when I asked him about this just in case it messed up the phone um, and I know that they probably don't especially judging by reviews they definitely don't um, but just be careful if you want one. But anyway, I picked him up this. This was £15 on Amazon. I thought that was a bloody good bargain considering that it's actually Samsung. So I got him one of those. When me and Fred first got together, he smelt delicious. Actually delicious. And I finally realised that it was his Tommy Hilfiger spray. And he ran out of it about a month after we got together. So... You girl has been missing the smell of Tommy Hilfiger since then. I picked him up another box of the Tommy Hilfiger spray. Um, I honestly love the scent of this. It's delicious, as I already said, and I hope that he likes it too. Oh, that shook. Shook. <laughs> this one I'm so excited for because I honestly, this is one of, this is the best bargain definitely that I've bought him for Christmas. So Fred has a few watches. Where does he leave them, do you think? Would you put them in a box? Would he leave them in a drawer? No, he leaves them on the side where he does his hair. So hairspray goes all over them. So I've picked him up. This watch box. How pretty is that? And it holds, oh, it holds six watches. So I'll show you the inside. See, so that is what it looks like. I honestly am really impressed with this. And I will tell you guys how much I paid. If you're watching this and you've watched this bit, pop in the comments below how much you think I paid for this box. So it is a decently built box. It's got all of the sponges on the inside, except they're velvet, so I'm not touching them. And it's got like a PU fake glass top. Seven pounds, 50 pence, brand new from eBay. How good is that? How good is that? Like. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. It's just good, okay? It's good. It is a good bargain. 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 It's a bargain. I got him a couple of t-shirts from Sports Direct. They were doing an offer, so a lot of their t-shirts were like £13. How good is that? I picked him up this plain white Adidas top. Flip that over. And it's just got the Adidas logo on the side. I think it's really cute and it will definitely look good on him. Next up, I got him one more t-shirt and it is a plain black Levi's t-shirt. I can't wait to give this to him. He's got nothing of Levi's. Um, so hopefully he likes it. We will see. Um, and yeah, that was £13 as well. So I paid £26 for an Adidas top and a Levi's top. Mind blown, Sports Direct is the place to go. Next up, he hasn't actually asked for this. To be honest, I'll be, I'll be completely honest, he's asked for none of this. There's one thing here that he's asked for, I'll let you know in a sec. So I got him some LED TV strip lights that go um, on the back of your TV and then they light up the back, I'll insert a picture here. That's what they're gonna look like. Um, but he went a little bit mental in the year and he bought himself a 65 inch TV. Why anyone needs that i don't know but it's actually perfect for watching youtube videos so except when it's like 4k ultra definition and someone's got a dry piece of skin like that not great okay not great. the only thing fred's asked me for this year is a pair of wireless headphones and he then backtracked and said don't worry about get getting the headphones because he'll get them in the new year when they're cheaper so I've gone along with that and I said, yeah, to be honest, you're probably right, blah, blah, blah. Little does he know, actually, that I've already picked him up some. So <laughs> I got him the Sony WHCH510 headphones. They are white and wireless and they have a 35 hour battery and um, Bluetooth compatible so they can work with iPhones or like I say, his Samsung. So I picked him up those. These were meant to be 50 pounds. Is that right? 50, 55, something like that. I paid 35 for these off of Amazon. It was a lightning deal. That, I also picked him up a case, specially for that exact model. So they fit perfectly and inside the case, I'll even show you because it's so gorgeous. It just comes black, little handle. And then on the inside, this is so pretty. I don't know why I find this so pleasing. It's grey and red, with, well grey with red lining, and it comes with a little bag for the um, the charging cable. So that will go perfectly and make sure that his headphones stay nice and secure and safe. And then lastly, 
this was the first thing I bought him even though I'm showing it last because this is one of those things where it was all my idea I he didn't say this he didn't ask for it it's not something he would go out and buy himself whatsoever Fred's favorite trilogy is I think he's got loads but one of his favorite trilogy trilogies is the John Wick series so they bought John Wick 1, 2, 3 I think the fourth one's coming out in May 2020 so I got him a signed portrait a signed portrait it's a movie still a signed movie still from Keanu Reeves and yeah so I don't expect him to put that on his wall trust me I don't I'm really impressed with my thinking, my thought process for this one, so I really hope that you likes it. So I have a whole minute to wrap up this video because Freddie's going to be home anytime now. That's everything that I bought for my boyfriend. Like I said, I'm not bragging, I'm not like, oh I spent this much money, I'm really not. Like I love a bargain, I absolutely love a bargain and I just wanted to sort of, I'm so excited to give him these presents that I wanted to share them with someone else first, so you guys are lifesavers because now I've alleviated some of my excitement for Christmas. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video, I hope that maybe it gave you some ideas for what mail gifts if you are struggling, and that is everything. So again, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for clicking, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching!